Alright, come back to the slides for chapter 11, Inheritance and Polymorphisms. Now, in the previous video, we seen that I have explained how we did things and what the benefit of using inheritance, right? And also, what is inheritance? We talk about this, right? Again, inheritance is create a new class from an existing class. The benefit is you don't need to reinvent the wheels, right? Docs has name, sounds, and color. You just extend, you get them all, and just has the breed as a new attribute. Same as fish. Now, something that we have to look at is the modifiers here. We have private, public, and protected. So, we're going to explain this in details on the slides. So, this is another statements that can help explaining inheritance. Suppose you will define classes to model circles, re rectangles, and triangles. Should we have them separately? Yes, the class should be separate. But they all have a common methods, which are get area, get circumference, why don't we make a parent class like as a shapes and then make circles, rectangle and triangle extends from them to avoid redundancies. So this is the concept of the designing. We can do that through the inheritance. So what do we look at in this slide? We look at the concept of inheritance through the superclass and we talk about superclass that's superclass existing class pretty much <coughs> involve the superclass constructors and methods using the super keyword when you create an object out of like dog could create object a new dog which you can invoke super constructor which refer to the animal class constructors we gotta learn that how to do that to override instance methods in the subclass so that's why we start to learn the concept of overriding we know that we have overloading methods the method that has same name different signatures overloading but some method had exactly the same name same signature. This is called overwrite because we try to overwrite parents method. Like for example, we have like the way that set sound is being implemented in the animal class. If you want to make a difference, we can just create another method down here, set sound which is going to overwrite the parent's set sound. Explore the toString method in the object class. So object class is the parent's class of all Java classes. All the new Java classes that you created, like Hello World, they also extend form. It also extends from object class. An object class has the methods, which is to string, which is the public. When you extend object class, like in this case, it's automatically extended when you create a new class. It also extends or inherit the to string method to the new class. So we are talking about this to string method here. Discovered polymorphism and dynamic bindings. 
what is polymorphisms? Polymorphism is normally dog is in the form of an animal. Fish is also in the form of an animal. That means objects can have many forms. Object of the dog can be, let's like say, dog, instantiate object dog. When you instantiate object dog, you normally do like this, right? Dog. Uh, Snoopy equals to new dog so the object is Snoopy Snoopy is a dog if you do in this form Snoopy is, is a dog always a dog but he said this object actually if I do this form instead of the other form Snoopy is an animal and Snoopy is a dog Snoopy is an object of the dog which is an animal so this is also valid in Java and this is called polymorphism poly means many Morphism means forms. So object can have many forms. Object can be animal, object can be dog. And we're going to look at this in details in the slides here. Because they are going to have the concept of dynamic binding involved. When we start to call the methods from animal and the method from dog. You look at that. Now, to describe casting and explain why explicit DAO casting is necessary, casting is when you change the type, right? And when object has many forms like this, then we have to change the types, okay? When we have to access to different methods from different classes. And they also have like implicit and explicit casting that we can look at. To explore the equals method in the object class, right equal is pretty much compare the attributes of the class to see if they're equals. If they're equals, then two objects are the same. Now look at if we have so many attributes in this case, you have to pick which attributes you want to compare to identify that these two objects are the same. Or all of them has to be the same, then the objects are the same. Right. So we will look at this into details, right? In about equals method here. To store, retrieve and manipulate objects in an array list. So array list is pretty much just a class that represents an array, but it made more convenience for us that we can store by using dot add. We can retrieve by looking at the dot contains instead of manually like looping through the list and return when we found. We can just use the method to do it. Right, it's just an array, but it's just implement all the methods for you to use instead of manually create the loop for your like in array by yourself. And you can remove it, you can manipulate the objects inside the array list. To implement a stack class using array list. So earlier in the videos from the previous chapter we talked about stack. I think maybe when we talk about array, which is Chapter seven, eight, nine, somewhere. So stack has the operation like when you push, you pretty much just add something to the stack. You pop, and we just get look at 
we're going to use array list to implement it instead of using just regular array. To enable data and methods in a superclass accessible form subclasses using the protected modifiers. So we're just going to talk about the scope of that. To prevent class extending a method overriding using the final modifier. Right, since we know there's a concept of inheritance. So that means if we want or other user want to extend things from the class, they can just keep doing that. But sometimes we don't want our class to be extended. Then we can just make it final using word modifier in front. That happens to a method too. That's why we call. We don't want. Remember, if we implement another method over. Like for example, I have sounds for animal. Dog can implement set sounds here too. This is called overriding. But if we don't want any other classes or subclasses to implement my method write my methods then we can just make final modifier in front that make it final then subclasses cannot can no longer implement or overriding the methods of the superclass this is an example of geometric object is a superclass and this is symbols, the actual valid symbols. Use the open arrows and down red symbols right there to represent the UML diagram with inheritance concept. So circle, rectangle, extend from geometric objects. Then they all have an access to pretty much just get color, is filled, set color, set filled, all the public methods right there which they don't have to worry about to fill the color or set the color anymore and they only worry about get radius for circle right and rectangle get width and height and have that one way to calculate get area and get perimeters Are superclass constructor inherited? No, they're not inherited. Only inherited the methods, right? They are invoked explicitly or implicitly. Explicitly using the super keyword. Like if I try to access to the parent of the super class, I have to use the keyword super. Like if I want to create Snoopy form, the constructor of animal, I have to create from the constructor of dog I can't just say new animal if I do new animal this has to be an object of animal you can do from new dog but not vice versa dog is an animal but not all animal is the dog that's why we cannot do say dog snoopy equals new animal make sense we can do animal is a dog but dog is not not all animals are dog <laughs> so that's also showing that no super class constraints are not inverted <clears throat> explicitly using the super keyword you can just say super in your code a construct is used to construct an instance of a class, unlike properties and methods. A superclass constructs are not inherited. 